Sports View London Boxing News for the Capital City here with promoter Mick Hennessy. Mick, we've just had uh, Martin Murray, Gennady Golovkin press conference. Are you happy with the way everything went today? I am really happy considering that this uh, press conference had been postponed twice. We had all the problems we had. Um, it didn't look like it was going to happen this side of Christmas and then bang, we got the phone call. Um, Gennady's uh, you know, visa and passport turned up. Um, it was no fault of his. He was, uh, they'd done everything right. They paid extra money to expedite his, um, his visa, but it just never, you know, got got lost somewhere. Why? So um, they they finally found it and uh, got the call. And it was like, you know, it was either we arranged this, you know, very very quickly, and not everyone's going to be ready for it, or it doesn't happen before Christmas, and we chose to arrange it. Absolutely fantastic and an amazing media turnout today. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure you're pleased with that. Oh, at, sh at short notice, I mean, we only put the press release out probably, it was late afternoon yesterday. Most definitely. Yeah, yeah. and to get, the, to get the turnout we got today, I was, I was chuffed. Yeah, no, full credit to you, yeah. because everyone was, through no fault of your own, or, you know, Hennessy promotions, but when things like that get taken out of your hands, as uh, I believe happened with Floyd Mayweather earlier in the year, yeah. came to do some business and obviously was denied entry to the country. It's just sort of, it, 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 it does get you wondering, you're thinking the fight is February 21st, and that, as you say, you're getting the other side of Christmas then, aren't you? And the press attention this fight is now going to get is... Yeah, and, and, and plus, you know, things change. They, they might have gone into camp a bit earlier and the press conference doesn't happen, so we had to do it really, but, um, you know, I mean, you know, you can see Gennady Golovkin you can all of that. I mean, he was on the wrong side of something. You know, it's some sort of administration problem over there. Because you can see what a gentleman. I mean, he was. He has been. You know, both of them. I mean, I expect that from Martin. Martin's great with with everyone. But you know, to see, you know, Gennady Golovkin come here today and deal with the press and the media the way he has, and, and some fans that were here, and and everyone who wanted pictures with him. You know, what a, what a gentleman to to fight at the level he does. And to not have a bit of diva in him, most definitely, me. you know, is you know, because you know, at that very, very top elite level, you know, you see some things that you know would make your skin crawl. You know, I've actually, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen it myself. Yeah, you know, quite a few times. But it's refreshing to see, you know, a star of his level come here and be so humble and so down to earth and so brilliant with everyone. And, Most definitely. And his time was just, he gave time to anyone and everyone and treated everyone the we, same. We actually got the footage because one thing that we're very keen on is showing what happens, not just the press conference, that deserves the coverage, but what goes on. You know, the, the, how tense it was out in that hallway. Yeah. The Golovkin standing there, yeah. Murray standing there, and also the time for the fans that I believe uh, were travelled from Kazakhstan. Yeah. You know, and he gave, as you say, he stayed for 40 odd minutes posing for photos and yeah. his bodyguard was absolutely, you know, let him get on with it. And, then, you know, it's just, how does that feel me? You know, you're, you're, you're running this, you're, you know, and everyone seems happy with what's going on, the terrestrial contract and... Yeah. Yeah, it, it feels great. It feels, it feels really, you know, as always, it's great to work with really nice people, you know. Him and, him and Martin Murray, you know, it's a shame they've got to fight each other, really, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, Martin Murray, I mean, what a gentleman he is. I mean, I think, you know, I've only got to know him sort of like recently um, in, in Monaco and, and, and now, and, um, I'm, you know, he blew me away with what, what, what a nice man he is, you know? Most definitely. What a character. And, um, you know, the pair of them, proper warriors, but proper respect there and just just great to work with. This whole, of, uh, this whole event, from from the uh, the venue of the press conference today, and now you're looking, you, you know, forward to you know sort of early part of next year. It's just got a class feel about it, and uh, and uh, forgive me, I forget the gentleman's name that mentioned about it on the top table. And Mike, was it from Mike Whitstock from Monaco? He was to yes, yes, it was indeed, yeah. Yep. Yep. And he he was basically saying, you know, this isn't a jeans and trainers turnout. You know, you 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 come to this, it's yeah. a class <laughs> event, suits, tuxedos, and it, 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 it's, it's a nice fresh feel for the for the game. Yeah, it's it's very. I mean, it was you know, it's very. It, 
like you said, you know, Gennady Glovkin, he, he turned up, you know, you know, full black suit, uh, black attire, and um, did a, you know, the full bit really. And it, it you know, it, it's a great event. It's a very glitzy event. A very, um, you know, it, it, it's an event that you can see people within the area and with the, uh, the outer areas looking forward to all year round. You know, yeah. it's, it's a spectacle. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. And moving away from today's press conference, the Tyson Fury of faultless performance at the weekend, disposing yeah. of Derek Chisora. Uh, how how soon are you hoping to make that fight with uh, Vladimir Klitschko? Well, one thing I was so like proud of Tyson to do to to one to even take that fight in the first place he wasn't well like he was four weeks of his training his camp he was he was hampered with chest flu and could not get rid of it no matter what he did just affected every, every day affected every training session every sparring session everything Pete was trying to do with him it affected affected it and here's a man where we all sat around and basically said we know we've had troubles with this fight, but you know you can't really fight. And you know Tyson was adamant. You know I'm fighting, no matter what happens. This isn't getting cancelled or postponed again. So it was obviously it was obviously monitored by Peter and, and myself, and you know watching his his daily progression. And um, you know as he got he only he only felt felt well really. I would say. By the Wednesday of fight week, so he had the press conference on Thursday. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So can you imagine the fight hadn't been turned off? He's only started to feel well again. The strength started to kick in. So he was nowhere near. He, I would say, maximum sixty percent, but probably more like fifty percent of himself. Wow. And the team had to make a call on whether he fights or not. And you know, luckily enough, everyone involved felt. That 50, 60 percent of him was enough yeah. to beat Derek Chisora, which luckily proved the yeah. case. Yeah. It proved the case, yeah. Because what people don't realise is Tyson has matured into a top, top, world-class fighter. He's a brilliant athlete. He's a phenomenon. He's, he's had that potential since he was younger. I see it with him. That's why, I, you know, two things I wanted to, you know, sign Tyson for Fury for in 2008. One was because he had great potential and two he was a real character and he was a nice person and that combination you know I'm proud to say he's, he's, he's maintained that and he's got better and better and you know the last you know last couple of years with Peter he's just he's gone up like his his fitness his conditioning his, his, his boxing ability his, Peter's absolutely brought the best out in him most definitely great combination brought the best out of him and you know for him to do what he's done imagine what he's going to do when he's 100 percent we nearly see it with the david a fight we come so close to seeing and I, I, as a team we were so excited the week of that fight because we knew what he was going to do to david a we all knew what was going to happen no one else did but we yeah. knew we knew he was going to do a pro proper job on him and you know, in the end, maybe David A did. I don't know. Oh, but, um, what a shame. It's, that yeah. is what the mind does wonder, doesn't it? Yeah. That's the shame of it. He's never, ever been in that shape. He wasn't in that shape for this last fight. No, no. I, admit, I saw twice and he was absolutely oh, ripped. He was shredded phenomenal. His yeah. camp, the sparring, everything was just phenomenal. Yeah. You know, me and Peter were so excited to let the world see him, you know? Yeah. And, you know, we'll see that fighter again when he fights Klitschko. And when he turns up like that, Vladimir Klitschko's in trouble. I promise you that. Hold me to that because he's in trouble. Mick Hennessy, thank you for your time, sir. Much appreciated. Please, sir. Thank you. Cheers, mate.